Dear Fellowship in Christ, Wakeman here. After spending a very difficult night, with lots of pain and high fever, I realized I could have been going through this difficult experience to connect with God in humbleness and faith. I prayed, asking God to give me discernment to understand what was going on. At 3.33 a.m., I heard in my spirit to read Matthew 20, the parable of the laborers in the vineyard. This hit me strong as I was feeling overwhelmed by many so-called Christians boasting themselves about how they have stocked their pantries with all sorts of goods and how prepared and led by the Holy Spirit they are to be accepted into the kingdom of God when Jesus Christ calls them. Whenever I came across such narrative, I felt unworthy of the Holy Spirit because I am poor, sick, and my pantry is totally empty. I never had the resources to prepare myself accordingly. Like other brother and sisters, I simply didn't have the resources, support, and means to do it. Therefore, I felt I was unworthy to be led by the Holy Spirit, and to be accepted into the kingdom of God, when Jesus Christ calls me home. However, after reading Matthew 20, the parable of the laborers in the vineyard, I realized that the boasters are only inflating their egos, without actually encouraging people to be steadfast in the Word and in Jesus Christ. It also reminded me of my narcissistic parents, and my golden siblings putting me down, whenever possible, to make me feel unworthy. Do you see the correlation here, of the boasters and their inflated egos, and the dynamics of narcissist abuse? I now understand that the God's generosity is according to His will. It's not up to me, nor anyone else, to judge God's generosity, and rank themselves as superior or inferior to others, according to their time spent in preparation to be led by the Holy Spirit and to be accepted into the kingdom of God when Jesus Christ calls us home. Those who have started early have been blessed with peace and discernment, and those who have had a late start have endured much long suffering and trials. In the end, we are all the God's children, working our salvation with fear and trembling. I now understand what Jesus Christ says, that many are called but few are chosen. I hope this message inspires you to be steadfast in the Word of God, and Jesus Christ, regardless of how poor, sick, and discarded you are. God bless you. Please, remember, Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, and the life. Verily I say unto you, there is no man that hath left house or parents, a brethren, or wife, or children, for my sake and the Gospels, which shall not receive manifold more in this present time in the world to come, life everlasting. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is in household, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, I will give you. And they went their way. Again, he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing idle and saith unto them, Why send ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, Because no man hath hired us. He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. So, when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, Call the laborers, and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. And when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. And when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good men of the house, saying, These last have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and heat of the day. 
But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Didst not thou agree with me for a penny? Take that thine ears and go thy way. I will give unto this last even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine own? Is thine eye evil because I am good? So the last shall be first and the first last. Oh. Amen.